Hello and welcome back to my video on uh, setting up a video website. In part one I went through a couple of things that I've come to realize. Uh, I've made a uh, bit of a mistake there on the connection script. So I'm going to go over that again real quick. I've probably put something in the notes regarding that. I don't know that I'm going to re-record that whole video or, or not. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you do know how to connect, you can skip forward. Otherwise, uh, going back to your connection script, uh, we found that you could connect using this line up here, the connection MySQL connect. And I also had a MySQLi connect, which I took out of there. I don't really need that. But what I forgot to do is MySQL select DB. So uh, I just added a line below that that said MySQL select DB and then DB name. Because when I went to test the script I'm about to show you, uh, it said database not found. And when I looked into it, I came to realize that I had taken this file from a much larger file that was a bunch of uh, different connections all in one file. And I made a mistake. You know, life goes on. You just move forward and correct the mistake. And PHP is full of those. So anyway, getting back to where we are now, uh, I've written a my very first PHP upload script for my database. And I'm going to go back to my database because I also made a couple of changes since the last video. Whereas this said vid ADDR, which was vid address, this is actually the YouTube ID that I'm going to use from YouTube. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, YouTube ID apart uh, later on when I go to display the videos. So I've got vid ID, YouTube ID, and I do believe I added something else. Uh, oh yeah, I added image because all of my uh, images are, are thumbnails here. There's some thumbnails for these, and then when you click over to the other areas there, there's thumbnails. And then there's larger thumbnails on these here. So well, I'm going to get into the video processing in another portion of this. So what I want to do is, rather than make this vi uh, video really long, is to go ahead and get into the actual uploading of things. But I wanted to go ahead and put these fields in there. Another thing I put in is vid time, and that is a type of date time. So. Uh, let me go to the edit screen and you can see how that looks. And basically you just, on type, you just uh, select date time and it's vid time. There's no values or anything to it. So uh, all that being out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the code for uploading a video. Uh, I've kept this very intentionally short for the simple reason that I don't want to uh, get into the video processing right now. So how I've started is I've done a PHP open tag, and this is called vidupload.php. And I've set an empty error message. Uh, just went ahead and initialized an error message, because I'm going to be handling a lot of this with error messages below. And I've got on here, if is set post vid ID. Now further down below here in, in our form, we have three uh, fields. And the first one is vid uh, YouTube ID, UTID. And this is where I'm going to paste in the code from YouTube so that I've got the video in there. The second one is going to be uh, vid title and then vid description. So what I've done here is if it's set, then I put a curly brace here, and then it executes this code. Uh, if that's not set, then it's going to send back some error messages right here. So we go in here, and we require our connection script in order to connect to the database. And then we define our posted variables. And we do a reg replace to get rid of any uh, freaky characters out of there and just replace them with nothing. So all I want on here is A to Z, uh, uppercase, lowercase, and 0 to 9. And I'm also allowing a slash, uh, a colon, an underscore, and a dash, because I've seen those uh, characters show up in the YouTube IDs. Then below that, we go to uh, vid title, which is the title. And I do the same reg replace 
uh, pretty much that I did up here except that I don't allow underscores and dashes because these are titles I'm going to put in myself and that gets rid of that and then vid description uh, pretty much the same thing so these are your posted variables here and each of these are collected down on the form below and placed up into here so if blank YouTube ID or if blank vid title or blank vid description uh, I want to return the error message that I've opened up here and the error message is you did not uh, submit the following required information and then if the YouTube ID is empty then it's going to say uh, you didn't submit YouTube video ID and title and I've got artist here uh, because that came from uh, something else and I'm just going to get rid of the artist on that one there uh, because we don't need that and it doesn't matter because it's not even there as a field so title and description so we've got the YouTube ID the title and the description now uh, if those are not empty then it'll execute this uh, loop right here which is vid check and on vid check what I'm doing is I'm doing a MySQL query of the database of videos and I'm looking for where vid YouTube ID equals the posted value of vid YouTube ID because if I already have put this YouTube video in there I don't want to put it in there twice so I'm doing a query for that and it's limit one and then vid checked is MySQL num rows, this is counting how many rows I get from this query on vid check right here. And now I've got an if statement. If vid checked is greater than zero, meaning if I have that video in there, then I display this error message. Your video is already in our system, please try another. Okay, so if it passes that test, then it moves on to this else, which is insert into videos the posted values or, or into these fields UTID, title, description and I've also added vid time so it's going to insert the values from the posted value of vid UTID which is up here and title up here and description and then it's going to put in now in vid time so that's going to uh, insert the current server time the time zone of my server is a couple hours before me or yeah a couple hours before me so it's going to insert that time minus two hours I can later manipulate that if I want to but basically I'm just going with the most recent uploads and then I've got or die my SQL error and uh, so if it passes that and doesn't die then it's going to echo your video has been successfully added and then it will exit the script and I've closed out all of my curly braces this curly brace uh, that does the SQL insert this curly brace that takes uh, the video check and everything and then this curly brace that makes sure that you have a video posted ID up, up top so that's it for our PHP portion of this so now we get to the HTML portion what I've done is I've done a table with 900 center uh, cell padding 5 and then the form action is vid upload PHP which is the file that we're in right now and the method is going to be post and it's a multi-part form data uh, mainly multi-part because I had a video upload in here but I'm not going to address that right now so anyway uh, at the very top if there's an error message we want to display that error message uh, if there isn't an error message then we go on down and we show video share code that is the code that you get from YouTube that's going to go into that input of UTID and it's the variable of UTID and I've put an example here so I can cut and paste that in there just for the video then I've got video title and then video description and uh, then I've just got a submit button and that's it so with that we'll save this and I've already FTP'd it up to my server but if I didn't I'd FTP it here and uh, so we'll visit the page online 
and online we've got this go to the right window here and uh, we've got the upload form already up there there's absolutely nothing in the database right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this I'm going to copy this and put it in here that's my example code I'm going to call this video test and I'm going to go this is a test video and if all goes well we hit submit the form and we should be given back a uh, non-error code your video has successfully been added so now we go to the database here and we browse the database and we can see that we have one row total and that row is video ID of zero YouTube ID is the YouTube ID and then the title is test uh, category ID is zero because I didn't include that and the default is zero and then video description this is a test video and then video time has gone in there which is uh, 2012 516 1321 but it's actually 421 so I'm a couple three hours off so you can see that this is how you uh, would write a script to go ahead and put the information in to your database and uh, and this video is getting kind of long so we'll go back let's go back to the uh, to this and I'm gonna back up once and now that I've put this video uh, ID in there already one time I'm gonna see if my form will catch it error your video is already in our system please try another so all I gotta do is take a little something out of that and it'll go back in there now in this case I'm gonna take out video title so this should shoot me an error that I have no title. Uh, you did not submit the following vid title. Okay, so we'll go back and put test in there and we'll take out our comment. Let's just cut and should say, well it says artist, but I'll change that up. But anyway, that's how you put your error for formatting and all of the other. And uh, now I've got, this is unique, so it'll take this submit and now I've got a second one in my uh, database and what I can do is I can move forward with making the uh, SQL that will display all of these videos and uh, we will do that in the uh, we'll get into that in one of the next uh, video lessons read the description and I'll tell you what's coming up uh, very the very next thing and uh, like I said with this uh, with this script that you have here the connection script uh, you know don't get upset if you know you you work on something and it doesn't exactly work out right and you get shot an error message if you can't figure out the error message just by looking at the script look up the error message on Google uh, and you know Google's great for that uh, I've I just typed in could not connect and uh, and it came back with, you know, uh, some answers for me and things of that nature. And then I looked at my uh, my script again, and then I came to realize that I wasn't actually connecting. Although I was connecting to the database server, I wasn't connecting to the database. So uh, those things can happen. Uh, you just move forward and keep on rolling. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video.